Hi everybody, I am Hal Weeks for Stalking the Wild Auto Harp, coming to you from not so sunny SeaTac, Washington, Daigle Auto Harps, where we are making auto harps daily for you, right in this very location. And I teach from this very location, right from a spot right over there. Pardon the saws, you'll hear them running in the background. Today, damping. I thought I made a video about this recently and I went back and I looked and it's been quite a while since I talked about this. This is a technique that I probably use on every song. Um, you, it's hard to overdo this uh, once you've got it right. Uh, apparently it's tricky to get it. Um, of course everything new is tricky to get it but it's not that hard and it really changes your sound dramatically and I highly recommend that you learn and practice doing this. So what is damping? When we play auto harp, I've got my little uh, extra camera set up here and uh, um, so I can give you a close-up of this. When we play auto harp, our left hand is parked usually above three buttons. I call it home row, just like typing. And uh, those uh, three are usually your one, four, and five chords, wherever they are in your button arrangements. That's right, I'm not used to showing my left hand when I play, and I'm teaching, unless I'm teaching a left-handed technique, because you can't just copy my left hand unless you're in Brian Bauer's layout, and not everybody is. Most people are not. And so um, I tend to just leave that out of the picture um, until it's hard, to, it's hard to shoot and get the ratio right so that you can see my left hand and my right hand and still be close enough. I have to put the camera far enough away, and then you can't see what I'm doing. So... Two cameras is really the answer, and it really makes an editing, like the editing takes a long time to get all this lined up. So hopefully you'll be able to see what you need to see here. So on my, my fingers, my index, middle, excuse me, my index, middle, and ring are parked above four, one, and in this case, five, seven. Those are my three main chords for most songs in the major key. Now, when you push down all three, there are no open strings. And this thing turns into a washboard if you are playing on them. You can use damping to make short notes or Choke off the notes, make them shorter. Incredibly important to be able to do that, because otherwise you gotta go like this, or you might have a damping bar which has no notches cut out of it under your thumb. That's another way that you can damp for sure. But when you're playing down here and you're damping up here, that can cause some problems. Your fingers are already above one, four, and five. You might as well use them. So it's about doing this. You have to learn to, if these are your three main buttons and they're on your fingers, you, if you're pressing the middle one, say, you have to learn to damp down with the other two. And then if you're on this chord, you damp with these two. And if you're on this chord, you damp with these two. And that looks like this. whatever strum you're doing. Right now, I am squishing down on beats two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I like that because it, it sounds like you're using a shaker. And it sounds like the hi-hat 
on a drum set. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. So practice this just playing one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Open, closed, open, closed, open, closed, open, closed. And as always, when you're doing something new, give your other hand something extremely simple to do. In this case, I was just doing thumb strums. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And gradually, you know, you try it in other keys. And try this with any of the strums you know, and it will transform the strum. It will give it all kinds of texture that you didn't know was possible. Here, my Travis strum, which in other videos I call I'm an auto harpist. I'm an auto harpist. I'm an auto harpist. I'm an auto harpist. Now listen to what it sounds like when I start damping. I especially like it with this strum, which is the old time strum. It's called Scratch. I teach this and call it hamburger, or I used to at least. You can see that. I've got videos about this strum. Get you going backwards with your finger, but boom, chuck a boom, chuck a boom, chuck. It's really easy to practice the damping strum on this strum because it's rhythm. Every time the fingers go out, that's on two or four. One, two, three, 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 four. One, two, three. Notice that I'm changing chords. And as I'm changing chords, my boom, my um, damping remains consistent. Now, what am I doing rhythmically? I'm accenting my off beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I call it push two. Sometimes I don't do it on four. I just do it on two. Let's try a simpler strum. I'm using thumb and index. This is what I call rocker. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. So on that second thumb stroke, that's when we're going to crunch. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So practice this. Use it, you know, alternating your fingers, it will transform your song, let's say you're doing a song like, let's say, Will the Circle Be Unbroken. I'm going to start damping when I get to the, uh, uh, to the chorus. Will, okay. <laughs> I was standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day 
when I saw that purse come a rolling for to carry my mother away. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. So I told that undertaker, undertaker, please drive slow. And that body you are hauling, I hate for to see you go. Now, I'm using a consistent rhythm there, so I'm like emulating like a shaker. I'm probably overdoing it a little bit. But you can just put it in occasionally. You get the idea. You can put, you can vary, and it becomes much more percussive, textural, and everything. So, damping. Go back and watch my damping videos where I teach this close up, slowly, step by step. Damping. Um, works best with, well, learn it with the scratch if you have learned that. If you haven't, why not? Because it's the best strum of all. Um, okay, so I'm Hal Weeks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for learning with me. If you want to learn with me one-on-one -on -one so I can address your present situation, you can contact me through my website, howweeks.com, and sign up for some lessons. And I can work with you weekly through Zoom, right in your own home. And if you want to support this program because you're getting a lot out of it and you want to give a little something back, you can do that over at patreon.com slash howweeks. So thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you next time. Bye-bye.